What's up, Leos? Today is 12 2022 So there's hella angel numbers in the air. A lot of light code upgrades are coming through. We're really doing away with the old and allowing in the new. So before today ended, I had to do a reading for each sign on these portal upgrades and what this 12 22 portal is opening up for each of us. And it's the last huge portal of the year. So this is, I mean, I don't know if you guys can feel it. I've been feeling it. It's crazy. I'm like kind of seeing orbs fly through this video. So they're, the angels are here, Leo. Let's see what they want to tell you. What's the message for Leo? Of course, we're always manifesting with each moment. So this moment I am manifesting clarity, accuracy for the Leos watching this. What do they need to see? What's the message for Leos watching this? For this 12-2-2-2-2 portal. Thank you. So we have openness coming through. And we have the moon, a full moon illuminated, which is really funny because tomorrow, 12-23 is a new moon. So new moons are all about new intentions, new beginnings. There's definitely something with this moon energy affecting you, Leo. And I like that we have all the star sign constellations here because it's definitely letting you know shit's going on in the celestial realm. There's a lot of light code upgrades. I feel like you're really being illuminated or highlighted for something. There's a lot being revealed to you with openness that kind of symbolizes vulnerability, revelations, being accepting and open enough to have things come to you, light code upgrades. I feel like you're really upgrading. I'm getting something with the clouds too, Leo. So there's a lot of upgrades coming through for you. Some of you could even be pregnant with that full moon energy or finding out that you're pregnant. Or maybe this 1222 portal is like allowing you to know that you're very fertile or you could even give birth this this year. Why did I want to say this year? Maybe, you know, in 2023, this could be opening up that energy. And we have patience. So that really could be the energy. Patience makes me think of gestating. Things are in the works for you, Leo. So I feel like the universe is really looking out for you right now. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, they are working in the ethers for you. They're really, yeah, I feel like you are, you're very watched and protected, Leo, is what I'm getting with this. And I feel like things are unfolding in divine timing with patience. So let's see in particular what's unfolding for you and what might take patience for this 12-2-2 portal for Leo. This could also be that something's revealing itself to you in due time. Let's see what that might be or has to do with. So the Eight of Swords in reverse came out. This is Gemini energy. I'm going to get two more for Leo. We have judgment coming out, which is Scorpio energy. What's being revealed to Leo? Thank you. The seven of wands, Leo energy. All right, Leo. <clears throat> They're telling me to take out the bottom one as well, so. I will, the five of wands, which is also Leo energy, no wonder. All right, Leo. So the Eight of Swords is an energy about freeing yourself because upright you can see she's tied, she's bound, and it's really this energy of tying yourself down, really holding yourself back because she's just looking at her reflection. And in reality, she's not held back, but she feels that way. So in reverse, it's this energy of freeing yourself. And I get that too with judgment. Even the way that her spirit's kind of lifted, there's this free energy going on, Leo. I'm getting that too with the bird. There's a lot about freedom here and releasing yourself. Maybe it's releasing yourself from judgment too, self-judgment. Um, but what I'm getting with this energy is that judgment is about a decision. So there's a decision being made in regards to something you've been having a hard time with. The seven of wands is me versus the world energy. And the five of wands is a conflict card, a fighting card. 
So you've been resisting something is what I'm getting. And I feel like it's resisting making this decision to free yourself from something. This could be a relationship, Leo. I don't know what this is in particular. Let's get more on that. <clears throat> what is Leo freeing themselves from? What's this energy that the 1222 portal is opening up for Leo? So we have the brawny bear, power, inner strength, rejuvenation. And I love that because the strength card is Leo energy. Mighty guardian of the woods. Connect me to the power of the earth. So I feel like you're liberating yourself and there's a lot of power in that. There's a lot of freedom. There's a lot of independence in that. Some of you could be getting out of your parents' basement, out of your parents' house. Some of you could be freeing yourself from a relationship, a job. There's something this portal is freeing you from. <clears throat> Give me more for Leo. What does Leo need to see about the 1222 portal? Recognize the signs from above. I love this. Angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. And that's really funny, too, because she's got the blindfold on her, almost showing how distracted she is. And it's just the way she's seeing. So the universe is telling you to open yourself up a little bit more, Leo. One more for Leo. One more for Leo for the 1222 portal. Tell me more about the signs. Embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you toward your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. And it's funny because she's writing. We have a lot of feather energy. There's a feather there. There's a feather there. There's kind of this light energy, Leo. So I feel like you're, you're being called to step into your light body, maybe even eating lighter. Um, if keeping friends around you, friends are weighing you down, there's a call to release them, even with the five of wands there and the seven of wands. I feel like there's this call to just be lighter, Leo. Yeah, there's, there's something about breaking free, too. Let's get a self-care card for you. We have crystal work. So working with crystals right now is going to be very powerful. So if a friend offers you a crystal, definitely accept it with gratitude. It's actually a sign from the universe. You might find a crystal somewhere. Um, I, I'm getting like serendipity energy with the crystals. It's not even like you're going to go into a store and find one. That might happen too. But I feel like you're just going to come across crystals and they're going to be guiding you in some way. Crystals can really purify energy a lot, so I feel like there's something about purifying your energy too, Leo. <clears throat> yeah, so what I see this 1222 portal opening up for you is you breaking free of something, really starting to pay more attention to the signs. I'm noticing 444 on this card and two butterflies, so if you're noticing butterflies wherever you are or 444 energy, it's definitely the universe letting you know that your guides are all around you. Let's get something through the charms for Leo for the 1222 portal. So is this a dragon? Yes, we have the dragon energy coming out. Fire breathing dragon. When you guys are a fire sign. So there's definitely something about breathing life. Fire breathing life. Passionate energy into your purpose. So for some of you that might be writing. For some of you it could be taking care of animals. I'm noticing there is a cat on this card. Right. For some of you, maybe it's about like helping people through transformations with the butterfly. Maybe it's yourself that's going through a transformation. But there's something about breathing light and life into it. I'm getting something, the light energy with the feather. Give me something for Leo. Through the Sorry, Leo, I had to switch your astro dice because I realized I had two dice for astrology signs and not one for planets. All right. What does Leo need to see for the 122222 portal? Final message. So we have North Node in Cancer in the 10th house. So there's something about nurturing either your career or making your, I feel like it's more making your career about nurturing because the 10th house is all about career and determination. And North Node is all about your North Star, your future, where you're going. 
Cancer is the mother sign, all about nurturing, caring, affection, also ruled by the moon. So there's a lot about like the moon and illumination. I feel like you're nurturing and illuminating um, your future career goals is what I'm getting with this. And I feel like it's light work, Leo, if you're watching this. I feel like it's light work is what's coming through. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so much. And I'll definitely catch you in a new moon reading in just a little bit.